3.2 is over quadratics, and we have three goals for this series. One is translating between and recognizing the forms of quadratics. Goal two is to recognize the sums and products of the roots of a quadratic, and we'll readdress this later with polynomials. And then C, we're going to analyze the components of the quadratic formula to help us be able to more easily answer complex questions. So what I gave you right here on the front page is just sort of a graphic organizer for the different forms of quadratics, and then it shows you a visualization of what this um, form provides you, and then any special information you might want to know about that format. So we're going to take a moment here and we're going to review what it looks like to complete the square, which is going from general form to vertex form. So we have an example here. We've got 3x squared plus 4x plus 6, and we want to put that into the form ax minus h squared plus k. So the first thing we have to do is pull that 3 out, factor it out, and so this becomes a 4 thirds. And then we need to find out what term we're missing to create a square value. I move my 6 over to the other side, making it negative. So 4 thirds into 2 equal pieces is 2 thirds and 2 thirds. And then multiply them back together to get 4 ninths. So this number right here should be 4 ninths. And when I add something to equations, I have to do it either on equally on both sides or add it in a zero format. So we're going to add it to both sides of the equation here. So 3 times 4 ninths gives us 4 thirds. Okay. So x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 4 ninths. And then we're going to make negative 6 into thirds. So negative 18 thirds and positive 4 thirds is going to give us negative 14 thirds. So this right here becomes negative 14 thirds and we're going to translate that back over to the other side of the equation so that it's uh, in vertex form. So negative 14 thirds moved over becomes positive 14 thirds. And then we put this into the uh, terms of the sides versus the term of the area. And this number right here will always be the same as whatever this number cut into two equal pieces was. So 2 thirds two-thirds. So you might want to make a note of that when you do this. Two-thirds. So this is vertex form of our original equation. And then on the assessment the other day, you guys were struggling with how to convert that or discuss that in terms of translations. So HK, we have HK here where H is our shift horizontally and K is our shift vertically. And then A is our stretch compression. So this is an opposite shift, so we went two-thirds left, and this is all a shift from the parent function, and then 14 thirds up, and a compression of three. Here's one where we're going to go from general to factored. And so since we have an a term here, it's easiest to take a times c. And that'll give us negative 42. And then we're going to break that down into two products that multiply together to give us the ac and add together to give us this number right here. So I quickly pulled out negative 21 and 2. So 19x can be negative 21 and 2x. And then I'm going to put it over here in the box because I like to visually factor. So our common term this way is 3x, which means this has to be x, and it's just a puzzle from here. This has to be positive 2. 
So if I'm going to write this in factored form, I can say uh, 3x plus 2, and then x minus 7. And if we want to pull that a out, we can. Um, right here, we would pull it out here, and you would get 3 times x plus 2 thirds times x minus 7, but either one of these forms is generally acceptable.